my background is 11 years on large yachts. Um, half of that was, was crew. Um, half of that was working on new builds ashore. So on vessels ranging from 90 to 180 meters. Uh, prior to that, um, I was freelance in IT. So I was an IT guy that came into the industry because of a, a skills shortage. And I learned the AV side and also did some work as second electrician, looked after a lot of old halogen lighting systems. Yes, uh, it's, it's unique also. I've, I've been there and done the job and I understand uh, the, the ch challenges and the skills shortages. And I could definitely see there was um, a demand for a training course that was a little bit different that would um, give an overview of all systems in a, in a short course. So we, we started the Yacht Entertainment Systems training course uh, because it was very hard for uh, people looking to get jobs on yachts to get experience of these uh, unique systems. Um, so it was, it was really catch-22 um, and it was also very hard to get onto manufacturer's training courses that weren't quite relevant anyway, so something different was needed. So this course at the moment we're looking approximately every month, um, only certain times of year, so it's typically around Christmas time. Um, we, we probably won't do one around Christmas time, but subject to demand, um, we're always able to do something at short notice. Um, but uh, around the, the summertime, sort of med yachting season time, it's very low demand. Um, so we don't schedule courses typically in the summertime, but we, we can do. We can do for group bookings as well. We can travel out to yachts and shipyards, yeah. other locations um, to do a completely bespoke training course. Um, the ultimate thing would be able to go on board a, a, a yacht with maybe four or six rotational crew and train the whole electrical department together. Um, with the systems that they've got on board, so on a new build, for example. It's, it's the easiest place to get to in Europe, the cheapest place for flights, frequency of flights, things like that. It's, it's a popular location for training courses for that reason. Um, with regards to the training facility, we're really happy with the equipment um, we've got access to and the location for the companies involved to travel here easily. I can travel from Liverpool in you know, a less than a one hour flight in the air, it's, it's really easy to get to. So, so we, we include um, companies like Crestron and Kaleidoscape um, only because it's the most common system found on, on, on super yachts. Um, so the, the course is all about the most common uh, system components and the most common tasks and knowledge that crew need to be able to maintain those systems. So we, we keep the course relevant and up to date. Um, we obviously work closely with market leaders like Crestron and Kaleidoscape and other companies, but also what's really interesting is the tutors that are involved in delivering the training. Um, they're still very active in the field. They're still working, supporting, designing uh, and engineering systems. They're not just trainers. Uh, well, I've met Scott a few years ago uh, when he was still working as ETO and I was uh, freelance programming on this uh, specific uh, project and uh, well we got, uh, got acquainted and uh, we kept in touch and at some point he started his uh, Just ETO business um, and he got in contact with uh, ETOs looking for, uh, for, for training, uh, asking us if it was possible to uh, send them to Creston training and we uh, started talking thinking well we could do this ourselves and make it a real specific uh, yachting AVIT training instead of the more uh, in-depth programming training that uh, Creston uh, or other companies uh, provide. Uh, so that's where it all started. It's fully tailored to super yacht uh, systems and all the, the products which are very common on a super yacht. So uh, often it's Creston, but it could also be a different brand. But because Creston being the, the biggest supplier in the market, we uh, decided to go with them. So it could be ETOs working on super yachts for multiple years, but just want to gain more knowledge or uh, upgrade their knowledge. Uh, we've got some ETOs who did the Creston courses, uh, the full Creston courses themselves, and they told us, well, in a few years' time, when you never use it, you just forget about it, uh, and it's, it's too much in depth, so they, they really wanted a basic 
hands-on training uh, and to gain as much knowledge of all the systems possible. So there we tried and tailored it as much possible as we could. Yeah, there's people from the oil and gas, in gas industry, there's people from the military, uh, so they're all looking uh, for jobs in super yachts. And this is their way to try and uh, find their way uh, to find a job uh, themselves. Uh, so to have some knowledge, to have some uh, certificates uh, to prove that they have the knowledge and uh, yeah, see if they can uh, get a job in that way. Yeah. Yeah. And we're also focusing on um, people from the shipyards themselves as they often don't have the knowledge uh, of the integrators uh, installing the systems. So we hope that uh, they can join for this training also and uh, gain some knowledge so they actually know what systems are being installed. So in the end it will be a better product. Uh, well, we have a wide network of people that we know and uh, LinkedIn helps out also. So we try to, uh, uh, to contact as much people as we know uh, and they find us uh, and they, they, they find us via LinkedIn or via people who uh, recommend us again. So yeah, it's uh, really getting out there. So. Yeah, they can go to the website, uh, just etos.com uh, or just Google uh, AVIT training, yachting, restaurant, something in that order and it will uh, pop up as the first, uh, first find. I've been a control programmer for um, a Crestron dealer. Um, I've come to work at Crestron about four years ago um, as a technical support engineer, but also as a trainer in our Dutch office. I was asked by, um, by Sjoerd and Scott a while back uh, for them to do some training, uh, specifically for the um, yacht industry. Um, we didn't have a specific training at that point, but um, in the near future we um, came out with the CTI Tech course, so the technician course, which actually fit the bill really well. In this course, um, the technician bit focuses on uh, mostly on our toolbox software, so the software that we use to configure and diagnose our systems. Um, we added in um, a number of specific items that are um, uh, specific to the yachting, the super yachting industry. Uh, we spoke about configuring um, a control processor from Toolbox, configuring uh, the Ethernet settings, uh, doing some basic diagnostics um, to give the um, technician the ability to do the basic diagnostics of a Creston system when something goes wrong. We spoke about digital media, which is a big topic for us, um, especially on the, on the super yachts. Um, we spoke about the communication protocols that we use to communicate between devices and our control processors. I think Crestron is the system that allows you to uh, connect um, all devices um, to each other, uh, be it Crestron devices, but also third-party devices. So I think there's always room for improvement, um, especially because the technology moves on very quickly. There's always some new technology. Um, um, and with Crestron, you're always uh, capable of integrating that technology into your system. Uh, I was looking to improve my AV knowledge and I found out by searching online. Yeah, it's been very good, it's a great course, very useful, uh, very informative and I think it'll be a great, uh, great thing for my job. At Ojico at this moment I am project manager of fleet support. Um, previous roles were uh, commissioning and uh, engineering. Uh, the, um, in this role I have a lot to do with the um, systems which are operational. So, um, yeah, how do they run in practice? Uh, how do they last? Uh, what's the, the service they need? 
Well, this um, entertainment course came to me by Scott Moore. He's yeah, a very good friend of mine. I used to know him from a different shipyard where we built a ship where he was ETO on. And so we have common interests and uh, he asked me if I would join this uh, course and looking at what's in it, uh, what the intention is, it was very interesting as a guy with an electrical background, it was very interesting for me. Absolutely, it, it's sheer, yeah, like I said in the introduction, introduction that normally you look at the outside, the wiring and, and, and the components and this time I had an interesting view on in the inside and the programming side and the how to set up the systems and what can go wrong but also what can be the benefits of it.